Welcome to the first part of the Core Practice Basics videos. So I've received a call from Ben Smith who would like to book an appointment on the 19th of April for his routine checkup and clean. When making an appointment in Core Practice, the first step is to search for the patient's file in your database. This way, you'll be sure not to create any duplicate files. We'll start from the appointment books and click on Select Patient over to the right. Enter the patient's full name and press Search. A list of matching patient files will show up below. If there are multiple results, you can refine them by including some of the other fields in your search as well, such as mobile or date of birth. I've asked Ben, and his date of birth is the 1st of May 1990, so I'll enter this into the date of birth field and hit search again. If they have not come up in the results, confirm with them that they have not been to your clinic before. Then, click on the new patient tab here and enter the required fields. You will notice the date of birth that I entered in the previous window when I was performing the search has been brought over to this new patient page, so you won't have to ask the patient again. This applies to any parameter that you search for in the search page. Now I can fill out the remainder of the required fields. Once you're done, click Create Patient. Now that the file has been found, or created, I should determine where Ben wants to be seen and who he wants to see. There are two ways to view the appointment books. The first is by location. So click on Location here and select the desired clinic from the drop-down menu here. The second option is by Provider. Click on Book and select the desired one from the drop-down menu. Ben wants to go to the Epping Clinic. He said that any provider will do, so I'll just leave the books on Location. Now we can navigate the appointment books. You can do this by clicking on Calendar to go to the specific date, or simply scroll through the books day by day. You can do that by clicking these single arrows for the next or the previous day, as shown here, and these double arrows are for the next or previous week. Ben said he wanted to have an appointment on the 19th of April next year, so using the calendar would be much quicker. I'll click on Calendar, scroll to April, and click on the 19th. Now we can select a suitable time. There are a few conditions which you might see when navigating these appointment books. This grey space is unavailable space. This dentist is not working in this location on this day. This white area is available space. Appointments can be made in this area. This area here is called the selection lock. It has been blocked by another user trying to book an appointment within this area. And this section here appears to be available but you'll notice I can't make an appointment, and there is a red line underneath the provider's name which states a reason. The reason it is still white is because this dentist was scheduled to work on this day, but they have taken some leave. We still have some availabilities on this day, and Ben said that he needs an appointment at 1.30pm. We have that time available, so we will click and drag the desired length of time. He said he needs a check up and clean, so 30 minutes will be enough. If you select the wrong time or the wrong length of time, just click this refresh button in order to select the time again. You can also select one of these common time intervals here. Finally, we can set the appointment details. So we have the class, which is the appointment type. And in this case, I can put check up, scale and clean. We also have status, which is a condition to be applied to the appointment, such as Medicare patient or message left. Usually something to help your colleagues when they view the appointment books at a glance. In this case, there's no status to be applied, so I can just skip it. Ben has told me that he sometimes gets nervous when he goes to the dentist, so in the appointment description here, I have space to add a note so that the dentist will be aware of Ben's anxiety when they click on his appointment block. At this point I'll confirm that the details are correct, so we're booking Ben in for a 1.30pm appointment on the 19th of April at our Epping Clinic for his checkup and clean. Now I'll click on create appointment here in order to complete the process. All done! Next up, we'll be learning the treatment basics.